Okay. Hi guys, my name is Shutak from thedesignsketchbook.com and today we are going to see how to draw bottles with the software Sketchbook Pro. And we are going to use especially the Symmetry Axis tool. Alright, so with Sketchbook Pro we have the Symmetry Axis which is horizontal and as well vertical which we can also both activate all together and the idea is that uh, wh whatever you draw on one side is duplicated on the other side in mirror and we have one both activity is kind of psychedelic because it's like drawing in each quarter of the screen uh, in the same time so before I so I would like to make a small intro about the viewpoints is that in real life when you draw uh, bottles when you observe a bottle like we are attempting to draw it as well as how you, you see it and a bottle which is po which is on the top of the on the table, you see it from the top, and this is why when you draw it in perspective, you may be tempted to uh, to draw it to draw it with like when you can see the top of the cap. Today we are going to be interested like a view which is actually more uh, less natural. Uh, like a perfect front view which is actually used in the, sh in the, in the shop uh, when they want to present in their product in the shelves and this is why it's going to interest, interest us is that when you want to present to your clients some proposal to, to him in the presentation parts you are going to draw them side by side with a perfect front view because it's just easier to compare all the, all the proposals with each other so yeah, this is what we are going to see today and yeah, strategy. So when you want to start to draw anything, you need to look for strategies, like how you are going to draw your object and what effect you want to give it to, to your sketch. And for the first one, we are going to draw bottles, which is going to give somehow a kind of very flat uh, perception of your bottle, because all the lines which is going to be horizontal are represented strictly horizontal. So just here, hint about uh, the the ring around the bottleneck. Like don't you need don't forget about it. So as you can see here, I'm readjusting the lines of the bottles, and I'm not using uh, the eraser. Okay, I'm using Control Z or Command Z on Mac, but I don't use the eraser. I just use the undo uh, function of it. Because the previous line is actually helping you to uh, redraw the next one and more you are accurate, more confident you are with your lines. Just bold it more. So then I play with the thickness of the bottle but I purposely make it thicker than, real, uh, than the reality. Just for the representations and then I start the tag and start the detailings. So once again the tag uh, are perfectly straight for uh, the horizontals the logo, the mountains a bit of illustration on it the, the water level and a bit of bubbles so here I'm starting the reflections so you don't have to be uh, exactly as a real life but it's kind of just like a trick of it and the trick I'm going to use is to purposely put the reflection in front of the details. Remember, like I, I purposely put the thickness of the bottle too thick because I can play with the reflection to purposely put it in front of it and use the eraser to erase whatever is inside that lighting, which is going to give a very straightforward contrast between the blank of the lighting and detailing of the bottle. So here is a second strategy which is actually quite close to the third one but giving an effect which is more about 3D volume. So same I draw the volume the, the profile. For the tag instead of drawing a horizontal line which is very simple, I, I'm going to draw like two ellipses. And the ellipses, you know like we have Sometimes we wonder what is in front of behind. You just need to bold the one which is in front. 
and as you can see here the horizon line is just somehow in the middle of the tag because you see the tag is uh, whatever is on the top the lines tend to curve to the top and the same to the bottom tend to curve to the bottom so I'm going to, to share a bit more uh, a bit later about, about it um, yeah so both as you can see uh, are two different representations but we are using the same viewpoints it's just like uh, when you play with it and why and how it's like when you play with it it's like you are playing with a different camera lens uh, what, what you see here is like somehow like positively distorted which is going to give more volume to it explanation here when on the left everything is straight on the right we're going to play everything with curved uh, if I want to represent it with a cylinder it would be just a rectangle <laughs> and on the right side it would be a volume like a cylinder as, as some of you might know a cylinder can be included into a box and that box would be in perspective and at, we can even say that at the extent we draw it like somehow with a fisheye effect of the lens alright so the third one here is also in volume but we use a technique which is very close to the animation and cartoon when they simplify everything with simple shapes so here is two, two circles but even if you look two circles, you need to imagine them as a sphere, as a volume. So this is why I'm drawing these ellipses, which is turning around um, these circles as a guide. So it's quite it's quite convenient also to play with uh, dual dual colors. One is brighter or lighter to to make the draft, and the second color, which is much darker, to refine your your sketches. So here I'm going to draw like a section of this sphere just to, to show you how I imagine the man is really like a, a 3D volume. You, you need to, to see that in the volume, otherwise if you see it as a flat, you, you won't make it. So usually you, it's not like when you use a strategy, just like a unique one, uh, you can actually mix, combine these strategies all together. And for the first one, it's all fine if you want to, uh, to do it like that for your proposal of clients. With Nothing wrong about it, actually it can be quite nice as well. It's all up to you. So this technique is actually very powerful because you can draw an infinity of things. And for example here with small demo about uh, so water bottle water of bottles, bottle of water, and also a soya sauce uh, bottle as well and also a bottle of perfumes. Yeah, so uh, don't hesitate to play with the line weight as well for your reflection. Up, the thickness of the bottle. So as soon as it's a bit cleaner, I erase the undesirable lines. So some of you might have seen like this bottle in the table of some restaurants, Japanese restaurant, which is actually a dark soya sauce. Yeah, so as the idea is like shape can be iconic, can be a brand. And if you recognize that bottle of perfume, the brand of this bottle of perfume, feel free to leave a comment and to see who is going to guess it. So on the side of the liquid of the perfume, there is a, a bit darker just to represent it. So I, I, I may do another, another tutorial to, to show about the transparency and liquid. Here is a uh, more like uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume inspired, uh, I would say. So the reflection, I purposely put it in front of the of, uh, on the bottom of the diffuser, just to really emphasize on, on this contrast of blank and details.
Yeah, so the perfume bottle can be much thicker than the bottle of water. More weight give actually somehow like a more luxe feel to, to that bottle. So here I am using the symmetry axis for the bottle itself, but I'm going to deactivate it to actually use it uh, to actually draw the, the cushion push of the diffuser of the perfume. Yeah, so a bit of refinement here and there. And that's it. Okay, so for the assignment of the day, I would like you guys to, to observe around you, like whether it's outside, at home, at school, wherever. Um, to see all the things that you could draw with that technique. Whether it's, like, it's a lamp, it's a vase, it's a glass, it's a baseball bat, anything you, it's possible to draw with that and then use Sketchbook Pro and use, it, use the tools and draw them. Yeah, that's it, so bye bye. Yeah, so if you want to start design sketching by today, feel free to download the book to make your first steps to design sketching. And all you need to do is just to sign up to the blog and I will send it to you immediately after that. So, see you guys, bye-bye! Hi guys, my name is Shutak from thedesignsketchbook.com and what we see today is how to draw better in 3D with the random product techniques in four steps. So let's start. Alright, so all right, so the pen that I'm using here is a Tech Point Liquid Ink Pilot 0.5 and the advantage of it is that it's actually provide quite a, a good flow of ink. So the step one here is to draw some random shapes. It's always flat and in 2D and it's quite convenient to draw some shapes which is more organic. Uh, some of them like looks like somehow like some kind of uh, accurate. All right, so a bit of line weight as well. So if you see like the initial. Uh,